So we're on a new adventure this evening. We're going to do a little nugget hunting, silver nugget hunting. We're up in Ontario, where I'm up in Ontario. Oh, you are too. <laughs> I'm with a me miner who's off in the bushes there. He just hollered over, said he found a little bit of silver. And our friend Sheldon's over there. He said he's already found a couple pieces too. And I think I might have found my first piece of silver. It's a rock. But if you look at it, it's got this dark color. And uh, that's silver going through there. Um, and right there, you can see the silver on top there, so you can, you can feel it as well. So 99% sure that we are on the board. I'll take this over there to Sheldon in a couple minutes and have him take a look at it. And um, tell him, give him, have him give me his opinion, and we'll take a look at what he's found so far. It's been a long day. We've been off doing other stuff, but we got about an hour or two, so I thought we'd just do a little nugget shooting. In the mines, you can see this is where one of the trenches that they dug some many, many years ago. It's a cool area. Basically just hunting this bedrock here. That's what I'm going to do anyway. That's definitely silver right there. That's a nice piece. I like it. So you got two pieces. All right. There's one more. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> this one looks to be mixed with cobalt. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Silver coming out. Yeah. You're doing good. I got a piece, I think. I want you to tell me. I have my fingers crossed. What do you think? On top there. It's kind of black. It looks like there's some stuff in there. Yeah. Get a pretty good squeak on the machine, so. Yeah, you can feel it right there. Yeah. So I'm on the board? You betcha. Sweet. You got it. <laughs> yeah, uh, me over there has a couple little chunks. Even this little line yeah. right here looks like there could be a very small piece of oh, silver okay. in it. You're like the uh, resident silver finder, aren't you? No. I mean, you do, you do, yeah. I, I've heard about you. <laughs> right here, this yeah. that line has silver yeah. right there. So if you were to cut that, how would you, would you be able to see it, do you think? Oh, or yeah. is it too small? If you were to cut it this way, yeah. and the silver vein went down this way, then you have like little, what they call lightning silvers. Oh, really? Cool. No, I, I don't want your, no, no, I can't take yours. I'm going to throw I can't, them away. I can't, oh, dude. Then you have, okay, here. Look at this. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> this is the guy I, you know, that has like giant chunks of silver. I know I met you last year. He's driving around. He's like got these like 40 pound pieces of silver, don't you? Just just out banging the around the back of your truck. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You do good, don't you? Well, for sure. Yeah. You really gonna leave him? Yes, sir. Hmm. I'm with you, man. I might find him a little bit later. <laughs> we'll have to pile it up. We might find a lot here. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I guess if it's under 15 pounds of solid, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Put them on the truck. <laughs> All right, thanks. I always leave stuff for the other guys to find. Actually, that's a cool thing. Oh, yeah. You know, that is good. Because, I mean, the little piece I have, I'm, like, super excited about it, you know? Exactly. Yeah. You didn't plan it, did you? No. <laughs> He's not going to tell me. No, no, no. All right, well, let's get back to it. I'll show you some signals, and uh, we'll have some fun. Another one. Oh yeah. Just where I rubbed it with the rock a bit. Yeah. Some, That's actually there. pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. Piece is sticking out there. Is that cobalt? The pink is yeah. Yeah, be cobalt. Yeah. How much is in there you think? I mean is According to the detector, sweats. it's not like not, super not, yeah. upgrade. Good not not good enough for you? Not yet. That's why I'm giving it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Pile it on a rock. Yeah. Well, it's it is pretty though, yeah. Absolutely. Probably all in here. Yeah. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna go find a piece now. You mind? Not at all. I'm gonna find a big old chunk. I hope so. 15 pounds. 15? 15. 15. Small one for you. Sure <laughs> and, and he's not kidding. <laughs> all right. I'll show you the next signal I get that sounds like it might be silver. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna work my uh, way around this bedrock, right? And there's a bunch of signals here. A lot of it's iron, but I think I do have one squeaker. I don't know what that is. It looks like a line of wax across there. Isn't that weird? But anyway, yeah, just take a listen. Um, yeah, I've got, I'm using the AT Max today. Uh, got a pretty high discrimination uh, at 26 because there's a lot of fence wire in here. Uh, zero mode, which is my preference, and a maximum sensitivity. So uh, we're just going to go along these cracks. And I, don't, I could bump up the discrimination in here, no problem, but I'm going to just leave it at 26 for right now. But going up through here, we want squeaks, high squeaks, little squeakers. And there's one up in here. That might be one. There's a good one up in here. I think it was here. <laughs> yeah, right there, okay? So I'm thinking there's a little piece of silver right in there somewhere. And uh, we're going to see if we can... I hope it's, that's not it. That's a big rock. <laughs> we'll get the pinpoint out for this one. 
Put the machine to the side there. All right, is that it? No, good. <laughs> there it is down here somewhere. Um, yeah, we've uh, been having a blast up. I think that's it right there, isn't it? Is that it? <laughs> cool as a nugget. That is, oh, let me turn that thing off. So that is actually a nugget of silver. It's really heavy for time. That's awesome, man. <laughs> First nugget of the evening. Well, have 15 pounds when we're done. It's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> we have a little squeaker right here too. A lot of nails and there, yeah, there it is. Alright. So much this iron this ground in here is really bad and the cobalt of course makes the detector go off. It's really small, whatever it is. Right in there. Um, I'm gonna set you down for a minute. Hold on. Okay, I finally found it. It's this little rock right here, and you see the silver, little tiny vein of silver going across right there. I actually rubbed this like this. This is what they told me to do. If you weren't sure, you just take the rock and you rub it just a little bit and I ruffle it up, and uh, that'll expose the silver and take off the patina. So, yeah, little tiny piece of silver. <laughs> I'll take it. That's where I just found that little piece of silver, and I saw what looked like a hole over here, so I came to investigate it. <laughs> what do you think? might be a hole there <laughs> one thing you have to be really careful about is uh you know the mine shafts and areas like this now a lot of them they have fenced off so you can see them but some of them they don't uh this is one of them toss this little rock down there and see what it does ready that wasn't very exciting <laughs> i can't really see the bottom but yeah it goes down there at least 30 feet and uh yeah silver <laughs> a dangerous place it really is um, let's keep looking around. We'll get up here on this bedrock and find a, maybe a big old baseball sized piece. I had a little signal right here. I didn't turn the camera on because it was very, very light. But is this rock, and I do believe it has silver in it. If you look right, yes, that's definitely silver. 100% silver right there. There's a little piece. Uh, when I first found it, it was, you know, I couldn't tell for sure. So I did, I just took it like this and kind of scratched it on the rock. Like Sheldon taught me. And I look at it, the more I scratch it, the more there is. There we go. Watch this. Come here, buddy. Here you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to rub it some more here. Yeah, I hope it's not rubbing it all the way. Shouldn't I guess? I guess I'll just flatten it out. Yeah, I think there's some silver in this one. Put a little uh, aqua chigger DNA on it, and there you go. Nice. That's going to be a pretty piece. I think we'll take this one. So we'll take this home, we'll put it in vinegar to get some of the rock around it dissolved a little bit. They say it makes a really cool specimen. I've never done that though, but that's kind of pretty just the way it is, really. That's nice. Nice little squeaker right there. I'll let you listen to it and see the reading. Hot was right. Ah, maybe it's up here. Nah, that's not a squeaker right there. High reading, but it's not a squeaky. We're going to dig that, but that's not what I heard before. Um, what I was hearing, I was in here, I think. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, where was it? I don't think that was it. There it is. Okay. Maybe it's that rock right there. I think there's a bunch of signals right in here. That rock might actually be the one that one I was originally hearing. But the squeaky things in there. Not a high squeak, but we're going to dig that one. You have to remember, too, I mean... This place has been gone over for many, many years by guys with metal detectors. So, you know, the great big chunks are going to be gone, but we're definitely finding them in here. Uh, you know, the smaller pieces, which, man, I just love them. So, let's go ahead and get the pinpointer out and see what's there. Yeah, see, I think there's something with that rock. I think there's something under that rock right there. <laughs> Every rock in here is mineralized. Seems all right. Pinpointer. Make sure it's not that. Yeah, so there's something under here. Let me get my little pick rock hammer. Put some of this back. Now this could be silver. This could be, uh, you know, it could be tin foil. Who knows what it is? But I'm gonna find out. All right. So we moved it. Moved it. Well, something right there. There's a lot of nails in here too. Because of course this is a mining area. 
I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for a minute and go ahead and grab that thing. It's really hard to do. I can't put the tripod or the monopod in the rock here to hold the camera up. So, makes it a little bit tough. All right, uh, signal is actually this rock right here. I think it has silver in it. Yeah, I think it has silver right there. Yeah, that's a pretty good signal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and rub it here on this rock. See if we can get some uh, color showing. I think it's enough. <laughs> I don't see anything on that side. Mm. My eyes are not what they used to be. I know this is going to be silver in here because I can hear it in the metal detector. We just might not be able to see it. <laughs> I don't know. Is that it right there? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. That's all silver. That whole thing is silver right there. It's a big silver streak going on across. Maybe we shine it up down here. It's got, the, it's got dust on it. Let me uh, let me wet it down just for a second. Yep, that's pretty obvious now. That's a big uh, streak of silver. Sweet, native silver. Nice. Well, this is rather unfortunate, actually. Um, I'll have to show you. Uh, this is where I got the big signal that, uh, you know, it's kind of a little bit lower than I thought it would be for silver. And I'm digging. I can see some cobalt down in here. That pink color right there. But in the solid rock, there's silver. This is a big silver vein right here. It's clear as day. You can see it shining. And uh, with the pick, I'm kind of <laughs> scraping it soft. It's like mushing it down. I don't think I can get that out of there with the tools I have today. I'd have to have, uh, you know, if I had my uh, chisel, I might be able to get it out. But uh, that's a nice little vein of silver. But uh, I'll work on it for a few minutes. And uh, unfortunately, I'm leaving first thing in the morning. So we'll have to save that for another year, probably. I hate to see that. I really hate to do that. I hate leaving stuff behind, but I think we're going to leave that vein of solid silver behind. So I'm just up the hill a couple feet from that little vein of silver we found. And I got another decent signal here, but it was already had been dug out. So I didn't you know, turn on the camera. I figured it's probably just a pop top or something. Dan. And uh, I have a signal way down deep. Down in here. So I don't know if we'll be able to get it. It might be like the other one where it's actually in the solid rock. But if you listen to with a pinpointer anyway. It's good, it's good size, so hopefully it's a nice piece of silver. It'll work pretty good. So, I dig in here. I'm not gonna find a pull tab or something. Or at least not recently, Doug. Hopefully it'll be a giant vein that's loose. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. I had some more time here this evening. No, still in there. Okay, um, it might be in that solid rock like the other one was, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. Get the roots out so you can see. Back, pop back. I don't know why. I should, when we come back, we'll definitely bring a uh, chisel or something in here. Something a little smaller we can get down in there with. There we go. That. See what we got. Ready? Yeah, at least it's not in that solid. A little more localized right there, but I think it's still a big rock. Oh no. I think that's what it is. Hold on. I have to beat the heck out of it. It's black. That's uh, black, so I'm thinking there's some silver in there. Now you can't see it, but you will. I promise you. Get you over there. <laughs> I'm actually, I think I'm chopping the silver, I'm chopping into another vein of silver right there. Are we clean that out a little? Let me bring you around. All right. So I'm thinking that crack right there is is actually is lined with silver. It is. Darn it. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to get it either. Uh, look at this little stick. Right in here, I was hitting it with a pick and it was like soft. You feel it, it's malleable. See it, see it shine? That's a silver vein. And there's no way we're getting that bad boy out, is there? Not with what we have today. <laughs> no, I can feel a pick just sinking into it. It's, sick. it's actually quite sickening to actually witness this. That's a silver vein going across there. Oh man, you know what we need is a uh, 
it's like a dental pick or something so we can get in there and pry it out but it's definitely solid silver who knows could be a couple ounces right there by the looks of it <sighs> first rain there's another mine right here that uh, looks pretty scary <laughs> but but the silver all over the place here i think as long as we're you know watch our step we'll be okay i'm gonna grab a rock i'm gonna throw it down there a small rock here and what's that gold then that looks scary as heck you can see the cobalt and stuff in the walls i bet i just know there's silver in there too but uh we're not ever gonna get it but let me throw this down there listen shh <laughs> that's awesome so what they did of course is you know they came across this bedrock here found the veins like we just saw back there and they just followed it down now this could have been three feet four feet of, of solid silver right here and they just followed and followed and took it right down into the deep part there and probably you know probably ended more or less but i bet you there's lots of silver in the wall right there you know that you know they just wasn't enough for them so they probably gave up on oh yeah there's a piece over here uh came up across here detecting and, oh yeah, right here. So I got a little signal here. Oh, let me just show you. I actually kicked the stuff out. This I saw it. I haven't picked it up yet, but I could see it somewhere right in here. So I got a little signal right there. I mean, not the great, uh, best signal, um, but I think I saw a piece of silver. No, I wasn't even on it. Was I? I think I see. Yeah, that's a little bit of silver flake right there. <laughs> Look at that, man. Put that out there. We'll check and make sure. It was actually squeaked pretty good when I first heard it. Let's just test that on the metal detector. Yeah, there you go. It was not a high squeaker, but that's uh, silver, what they call silver plate. Solid silver. Sweet. Came out of one of these cracks, you know. That's awesome. Just run the pinpoint over here real quick. See if we any more in there. Yeah, so this. Now nah, that might be there. Some more right there. Look. I hear some more, a little piece. Pretty sure. Let's check it with a pinpointer. Yep, and that's probably silver. And a little bit more there, but it's probably down in that rock, but that's plate silver too. Now it's nice, it's, well, let's go ahead and shine it up just to make sure. <laughs> there we go, look at that. Now what we're gonna do, yeah, see look, shiny as can be. 100% man, <laughs> awesome. As they say up here in Cobalt, this place is polluted with silver. <laughs> I don't know why they say polluted, but that's what they say. There's a lot of it here. Um, I think we've got about another half hour, so let's explore some more. Uh, we'll, stay, we'll stick on the bedrock. I like hunting bedrock, and I think you do too, because I think it's more fun. Probably won't find a giant piece, but I think we're going to find a lot of little pieces. So I checked the hole, well, the crack, one more time before I left, and there's another piece right there. Let's check one more time. There we go. That pick, pick's probably too close, but yeah, we got it. I'll check it when I stand up, but there's three pieces out of that one little area. It's a happy little squeaker right there. I kicked the dirt back, but that sounds like it might be, you know, a little better than those last couple pieces. Yeah, that sounds pretty good right there. Uh, hopefully, it's a little bit bigger than those last few pieces, but even if it isn't, I'll take it. Hopefully it's not in that rock. That's the only problem here. All right, ready? Good, it's not in the rock, I don't think. Oh, it's gone. Uh, uh, All right, hold on. I'm gonna have to put you down for just a minute. Hold on. Should be right in here somewhere. It may be more than one piece too. I don't think we've, we've actually dug it up yet. Oh, be quiet, you. Hopefully it's not in that solid stuff. Could be though. All right, let's try that. Yay, it's not in the solid, so. All right, hopefully in here maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe it was, yeah, I guess it was. Okay, there it is, yeah. That's, that's a good piece right there, man. Look at that. That's cool. Let's shine it up on this rock over here. I don't guess this is gonna hurt it too bad, but. I want you guys to be able to see what it looks like because I know it doesn't look like much from here. There we go. Ready? <laughs> look at that. That is sweet. That's actually pretty heavy too. Piece of plate silver. We call plate around here. 
these here pots. All right, let's get back at it. That's why I just dug that little piece of plate and uh, there's another signal right here. I'm not gonna go too close to the edge though. But yeah, it's probably in that little pocket. So let's go ahead and grab it while we're here. Oy. It's probably one of these rocks. Ah, it's that rock right there. Now that's cobalt. I can see cobalt right there, that pink. I'm not sure about that. That's probably, that could be silver. I'm not sure about that one. It's pretty heavy. We're going to keep it. We'll double check this hole. <laughs> okay, that was it. All right, let's keep moving. Well, we still haven't gotten away from that shaft. That's where I just dug that piece of plate and that little piece of uh, maybe cobalt. It's heading out, and there's a good squeaker here. I'm real happy about that one. That's going to be a little bit bigger than what we've been finding, I think. So I'll set you up, and we'll dig it together. What do you say? Hopefully not too close. That's too deep for the pin for pin pointer. So that's a good sign. So that means it might be a bigger piece. Yeah, dead rocks right there. So I know we got it. Or is it a salt rock? There we go. Alright. Hopefully that's not the camera. It might be the camera. So let me uh reposition you. I actually kicked it back out of the whole thing's back in here. I just checked it with a metal attack. That's cobalt. Oh. Yeah, this is, um, might be what we heard. That looks like a lot of cobalt in there. That might be all that is. It gave a high squeak, though, and cobalt does not normally give a high squeak, so. All right, hold on a second. Yeah. Okay, so that's, there's definitely metal in there. That's probably cobalt. This is probably what we heard over here, though. Oh, <laughs> this one, oh, another piece of cobalt. And it might be too heavy. All right, I'll have to shine this one up. I see the pink in it though. I didn't really look at the meter, did you? It gave a high squeak and cobalt almost never does. But that's cobalt there. Let's just kind of turn at the edge. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yes, look at that silver. That's definitely 100% silver right there. Cobalt doesn't shine like that. Got a nice signal in this crack right here. Now it gets loaded with silver. Just loaded. Right there, you can see that shiny stuff. I'm pretty sure that's silver right there. We'll never get it out of there, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, yeah. Shoot. Let's, let's go back up on the bedrock, because I mean, oh, we're not, maybe, did we knock it off? Maybe we knocked a little piece off. Let's see what we got right in here. I'm gonna go ahead and chip that out of there, if I can. I need a smaller uh, pick, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> can't get it in there. There we go. I might be able to wiggle that loose if it's loose. Nah, it's not loose. No. Um, see the little piece of plate silver right here, or there's some more up in that rock. You just can't. Uh... Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get that either. That's a shame, isn't it? Let's get back up on the bedrock and check down here and make sure. Yeah, it's possible. That's a little piece I knocked off. Oh, I'm probably getting a wall, aren't I? Wall eye. <laughs> That's a fish at the uh, fish for up here. Wall eye is pretty pretty famous, actually. They call it pickerel for some reason. Nah, missing the wall. Yeah. So there's more uh, more silver or something in there. We'll never get it. All right, let's move on. Well, I think everybody's split. So I'm up here by myself, and I hear noise under the truck. The sun's going down anyway, so. Uh, we're going to head out. I'm going to maybe come back tomorrow morning on my way out, uh, but maybe not because I got to get home and it's like 15 hour drive from here. So I got to be scooting. Hope you enjoyed this last video. Lots of silver here, and I guarantee you we're going to be back. Might be a year from now, but we'll be back. Hopefully, the mosquitoes will be gone. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Well, we got a bit of an issue. Think we can do it? <laughs> we stay here all night. What do you think? I'm driving through that. I have to do it myself. I'm not staying here all night with you. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the camp, have a beer, fire, have my own place to sleep. I don't want to sleep in the bushes over here. Can you do me a favor? Could you walk through and make sure there's no holes? Then Daisy, Daisy will do it. I guarantee she'll do it. Yeah, throw a stick to the other side. <laughs> She'll go get it. At least, well, I can throw a stick halfway. Let's do it, man. Hey, let me ask you something. All right. Are you Canadians all this timid when it comes to driving and water? 
<laughs> we're not, oh, I'm probably not going to get on man. Right. We're going to look at a mine shaft. We're going to drop cameras down. At, yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Well, no, no, I, I do oh, know no. that the Yankees think they walk in water. Well, you watch me, man. I'm going to be walking on water. Let's do it. Here we go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, B minor. I just said that. Baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand.